Hello, I'm Cleopatra Wallace, and this video is all about Gabby Petito. Gabby Petito is a 22-year-old American young lady who was last seen on a road trip with her boyfriend, Ryan Laundry, who was 23, and they had been together for over a year, and they have been engaged since March the 19th. Oh, there's one. They have been engaged since March the 19th, and they were wanting to do the, um, oh, another one. they were wanting to do the van life to where people just, you know, drive around and you're not tied down to utility bills. You can go wherever you want. Because, you know, it doesn't look like they have small kids, her or him. So they were free to go whatever they want, do whatever they want. But anyhow, back to the story. On August the 12th, why they were in the middle of this epic um, cross-country joyride, whatever you want to call it, there was a domestic violence call at one of the parks that they were at. There it is. One of the parks that they were at. And, um, you know, a pedestrian or stranger, whatever you want to call it, caught and said that they witnessed some domestic violence. All right, we have four to get us started with. And when the police caught up with her, they had, um, she simply said she was having, like, some sort of a mental break or something. And she slapped them. And then that was the last time that, um, she talked to police about this. But Ryan came home without her. He, he returned to Florida, and he did not have Gary with her. He just kind of went on about his life and never even said anything. So her mom reported her officially missing on September the 11th. And right now, let me get the date. Right now we are on September the 16th. So she has been officially missing on paper for five days. All right, and we have our four cards to get us started with. Okay, so the first car... Is the Eight of Wands, which is an action card. But to, even though she's in a card, you see that she's an action, but that's not the thing about this card that they're showing me. The thing that they're showing me about this card is, okay, this is the driver, right? This is the passenger seat. You see all those guns in the passenger seat? That's a lot of hostility in that van or in that car right now. It's about, I don't have to say it's about, this is an Eight of Wands, so it's about eight guns over here. That's a lot of hostility. Talk about road rage inside the car. Okay. Let's see what we have next. Next is the strength card. And I'm not going to tell you that the girl in this card favors Gabby. But I'm kind of getting the, in the intention that this is where she tried to be assertive at. You see the strength card where um, this rather small lady is trying to subdue this man here and we know if he struggle he's going to get free out of that but i think this is the part in the story where um she slapped him and he locked her out of the car or something but she slapped him i think this is that part trying to calm him down or trying to restrain him all right we're going to clarify all of these we're just going to um look at them first all right and lastly we have the chariot card which i'm not surprised at all because this is a um a road trip going somewhere so they were on the move, not only physically in this world, but also um, mentally. The relationship is going somewhere. I don't know if it's going somewhere pleasant or if it's digressing and going someplace that's not a very nice place to be. But this chariot card signifies that they were moving physically and moving mentally. All right. And lastly, we have the two of wands. And this is, of course, a couple. She has shades on. He has the backpack on. You know, they're just kind of on a little adventure. The Two of Wands, which to me, I like to say the Two of Wands is like synergy, like the give and get, the give and get motion. You know, the going back and forth or harmony of people. Um, what's this light right there on the card like that? Make no sense. Like that. All right, that's better. This is the harmony card. To where two people working together on their way somewhere together. All right. So now we got the. First four cards clarify. I want to go back to this card. The hostility card that shows all those guns. This is also an emotion card or quick movements. You know, somebody doing something real fast. So let's see what this um, hostility or quick movements is all about. All right, now, Spirit, where I want you to go this evening, we are going to go to Salt Lake. Yeah, we're going to Salt Lake City, Utah. This is the last place that Gabby 
was when she spoke with her um, parents and they knew for sure it was her. She was in Salt Lake City, Utah. So we are going between the zip codes of 84101 and 84199. Get back in here. All right, Spirit, we want to be working in the zip codes of 84101 and 84199. In the days that I want to be there, I want to be there between the days of August the 20th and August the 30th. We're in Salt Lake City, zip code 84101 and 84199. And we want to be there between August the 20th and August the 30th of 2021. Alright, we're in Utah. Zip code 84101, 84199. So now everybody knows where we're at. Back to the questions. The hostility card. Spirit. As I'm looking at this Eight of Wands card, and it just shows the um, the one person in the card and a lot of hostility. What is these quick movements or this hostility? Which one of them is hostile? Is it Gabby or is it Ryan? Oh. Oh, gosh. You've got to be kidding me. So, this is when Spirit yells at you. See the Eight of Wands? I'm asking, like, what clarifies this and who was being hostile or which one was it? That was clarified by another Eight of Wands that's in another deck. It's the Eight of Wands card. So, that means that I think they were both in that card getting out of pocket. It had become hostile or what people would call tick for tack. You know, you hit me, I hit you back, tick for tack. So, these two Eight of Wands coming out in the very beginning tells me that they both have had it up to their eyeballs with each other's BS, okay? Done had enough. You don't need to go on these road trips to where you can't never spend a night in a hotel. Like, I would go nuts myself if I was in the car for that long. Alright, so Spirit, we were going to move along to the strength card where she attempted to subdue him. And for that one, even though they did good with that first question, I'm going to, um, I feel like they're wanting me to use the the chair on Wonderland. So let's shuffle them, give them a quick wake up. Alright, Spirit, we are still in Salt Lake City. We're still within the zip code 84101 and 84199. And we are within the date between August the 20th and August the 30th. Right, that one fell, so I'm going to keep it out. Between August the 30th and between August the 20th and August the 30th, 2021. I'm looking at the strength card where the woman is subduing a rather... What? Oh, no. All right, y'all. Stop playing. Get it together. All right. I'm looking at the strength card where the woman is subduing a rather large man. Can you tell me the significance of this card for Gabby and Ryan? What is the significance of the strength card? Who was showing strength and who was being restrained by the strength? Oh, ha <laughs> ha, I caught it. Well, I did caught it, it fell. Okay. All right, so quite a few came out to clarify this strength card. The one that came out in the very beginning was the King of Pentacles. And I can um look at this card and I can feel this energy like, um. Like, I want to get the feeling like the money was starting to run out. Or whatever they were using to, like, buy gas or buy food. Like, they had started to deplete the resources that they were using. See, like, the King of Pentacles is all about, um, it's all about money. But in this hand, in this, right here, you can see that, um, he has his hand up and it's empty. Right there. There's nothing in his hand, like somebody throwing up their hands and be like, you know, it's gone. I don't have it. Like, I can't give you what I don't have. That's the energy of this King of Pentacles card. That's clarifying the strength card. So the resources are running low. All right. Ne next one that came out is the Judgment card. Now, this Judgment card is usually, you know, for people to come back to life. But it is actual, um... It is actual action to make somebody move back or come back. Is that makes sense? It's like um, you know, this card is insinuating you know at the end of everything and 
you know, God blows his horn, and Gabriel blows his horn, and then people start getting up and they go on to Christ. These is like people coming back, coming back to their senses. I believe this right here was a conversation that she might have had with her, one of her parents or one of her friends where they were trying to convince her to come back home to Florida or Blue Point, New York, because I know she visited there before they left, but this was um, one of her family or friends telling her to come back off the road. I apologize about that during glare. Telling her to come back off the road. Yeah. Even though the way that um, the light is shining from behind him bl blaring the bugle, this is like the light at the end of a tunnel for her. Like somebody is saying, just come back, get, if you can just get back here, you know, we'll pick it up, we'll go, we'll go, we start all over, or I hope you get on your feet. But this was not only were they calling her to come back, but they were telling her there was light at the end of the tunnel. And that's not what any controlling spouse wants to hear ever, is that their partner can go home to something better than them. Mm -hmm. Alright, and lastly, well not lastly, two more cards. All of this is on that strength card of the subduing. So last, well not lastly, but thirdly on this card, on this, yeah, on this card we have the, um, the page of cups, which is usually like an emotional message. So you got the little, um, fish in a cup. And it's like, can you see that? It's like a little, um, a little letter in his mouth or a message. Now I'm getting the feeling like this particular message, the way it's just all alone in this cup, I don't think this is like a phone message or a text message. I think this was a um a private DM message. And somebody was up in the DMs. It was a message only for her. He didn't get the message but she did. Yeah she's looking at it like what are you in here doing? Why are you in my inbox? There was a message. Alright, now lastly for the strength card, we have the Six of Swords, which is this insinuating that um, someone's moving on or going to go on. Like, if you're going to be like this, I don't want to be with you. You know, I can't live my life like this. This is the energy of this card. Alright, that wasn't bad for that strength card. And all of that was to clarify this one card. Okay, so now that we have those two out of the way, lastly down here what we have is the chariot. Where I said they were moving physically in a car, but they were also moving mentally. So let's see who was getting the breakthroughs and who wasn't. And to do that, I am going to use this Nightmare Before Christmas deck, I feel, could be the one. All right, spirit. I, s I can see that um, between the dates of August the 20th and August the 30th of 2021, Ryan and Gabby were on a road trip from North Point, Florida, and they were possibly going to Vermont. But what I'm wanting to know is, even though they were moving in the car, even though they were moving in the car, what was it? that they were wanting to move away from. Were they moving away from each other or away from their families? Clarify the Six of Swords for Brian and G Gabby. Whoa. The cards are kind of jumpy today. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess you want your cards to be jumpy, but still. Okay, so the first card that came out with this chariot, to clarify it, was the devil. Look at him. Just looking all devilly. And the Three of Potions. And now that I've put these two cards together, I'm wanting to know if they were using under the influence of anything. No, actually, I was wrong. Even though this looks like the devil, this isn't the devil. This is the Knight of Needles, which in this deck is the Knight of Swords. So it's not the devil. The Knight of Needles, which is a spy. And the three of potions, which is good times and drinks and partying and stuff. So I'm wondering if there was um, alcohol coming to play at any point. Because this three of potions is the bottle card. Like, let's go get a bottle. Yeah. So I wonder 
I wonder which one of them were drinking, if they were drinking. I mean, it is a three um, potions card. It could be it could be three cups of iced tea for all I know, but I don't think it's iced tea. All right, so we have a bottle and the three and the Knight of Needles, which is a spy. But this spy here, I don't think like he's ear hustling. I'm getting the feeling that this particular spy is like looking for um weaknesses. Like weaknesses are um argument points. You know, you argue with somebody like, oh, this is why that happened, or this is, you know, this stuff always happened because you're like this and you're like that. This is a um this knight of needles is not spying. Or looking through messages. This Knight of Needles were looking for weaknesses to exploit. Alright. So yeah, the Chariot card was clarified with the Bottle card. And I'm going to call it the Exploitation card. Alright, we're still moving along. We have one more card to get into, then I'm going to ask the questions. Alright, now the last card that came out in the beginning for Gabby and... Ryan between August the 20th and August the 30th is the two of wands card which is I like to think um the synergy in the energy card like tick for tack so you know if you go right I go left or you hit me I hit you back this is um and it takes two to do this so that's why you know it's two people in the card but this is the tick for tack like you pinched me now I'm gonna pinch you harder or you pulled a piece of my hair and now I'm gonna pull a piece of your hair this is I want to say this is mutual combat okay and to clarify this I'm gonna go back to the beauty of horror deck spirit now but which, why are y'all acting crazy up in here that spirit between August 20th and August the 30th of 2021 as I'm looking at the Two of Wands card that represents Gabby and Ryan within the zip code of 84101, 84199, what is it about this Two of Wands card? Was this mutual combat or mutual affection? Why is the Two of Wands card here for Gabby and Ryan between August the 20th and August the 30th of 2021? Oh. Alright. Why is the Two of Wands here? Were they fighting each other? Or were they loving each other? What were they going back and forth with? Not in that one. Alright. Oh, right, right, Spirit. You're absolutely correct. I'm going to use this, the Oracle deck, to get the Two of Wands. Because it's a particular image they want. Alright. Spirit, when it comes to the Two of Wands card, and see. I just flew out. All right. And what came out is a card that's entitled Growing Up. And on the card, it reads Wanting to Grow in Experience or Rejection of Perpetual Youth. So this is like, um, as I said, that I was starting to get in my mind that, um, the card of, you know, the um, light at the end of the tunnel. This right here is just wanting to um, go for it. Rejection of perpetual youth. It's kind of somebody being like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good on this van stuff. You know, I'm going to go on home, settle down, go to community college or something. Try to find somebody I can meet. But this is the I'm ready to go home card. That's what I'm calling this. So the two of ones, this great adventure, it had come to an end. And... One of them was ready to go home. I really, I would like to say that it was Gabby that was ready to go home. But when you have somebody exploiting your every freaking weakness, you know, it's hard to think when you're being exploited. I'm not even going to tell you a lie. When you're being exploited, you can barely figure out which shoe is right or which one is left without them telling you. But someone was wanting to go home. The party was over. Now, we can get into the questions. Yay! Okay, first question is, what happened on August the 12th? Right, because that's when the police was called. So to get the answer to that question, first we're going to see if it's in the Omega Land, but if it's not in here, we're going to move on to try another day. But Spirit, I'm wanting to know, and everyone's wanting to know, what happened in Salt Lake City between Gabby 
and Ryan on August the 12th. What happened on August the 12th with Gabby and Ryan that led to a police car? Aha. What flipped over is the temperance card. Now, the temperance card is um, moderation. Like you see, she got to pour this very carefully because if you spill it, you can't get no more. It's a wrap. So she's transferring this very carefully. Now, if this comes out in response to what happens on August the 12th when the police was called. Wow, this is, um, I'm not sure if this is what they wanted me to look at, but this is what I'm looking at. You see this right here, this like little green thing that's like feeding the water down into the other bottle, this hose looking thing. Maybe somebody was hitting another person with like a hose or something that was like, you know, extension cord, who knows, a cable, a coaxial cord. Let me just quiet my mind and look at this a little better Because whatever it is, it led to the police being caught No, they really are showing me just this green thing And as I'm putting it um, together in my mind It's like the lady's pouring it over there you know, into this other bucket so she can walk away with it. You can't walk away with these two buckets, but you can walk away with this thing down here. She's transferring the water so she can walk away with it. And I don't mean like she was stealing anything, but she had collected the thoughts in her mind and had made peace with. This relationship is not going to work. I mean, I really tried it. Let me go on and get my eggs up out of your basket and go home with them. This is the um, realization that we just, we just ain't going to make it. And I think one of them, it could be him, her, or it could be him. But one of them on this day, August the 12th, had made their intentions clear. They were taking their ball and they're going home. Okay. Now, question number two. Was there truly a mental disorder as described by Gabby and Ryan? Right. I do remember the video. It was a video I watched where, um, she was saying she had real bad OCD. Let me read the question again. Were there mental disorders that played a part? All right. Let's see. And for that, we're going to we're going to go We're going to use this one here, this little deck cuz they have lots of great images in this one. Okay. Y'all are hilarious today. Get it together. All right. All right, Spirit, we are still in Salt Lake City. We are still within the zip codes of 84101 and 84199. We're still trying to do this van life. We're trying to live the van life. But now the police is here. And we're crying. Was the police able to see that there was marks on her, or maybe not marks? Or were they able to see that the OCD was a cry for help? You know, sometimes you, we make cries for help that we don't even realize we're doing. So I guess he, she slapped him and he like ran up on the curb a little bit. And when the police talked to her, she was said she was having some sort of a mental break or something. So, were the mental disorders a true statement, or was it a cover for something else? What was up with the mental disorders being mentioned in the um, body cam video? Alright. Didn't waste no time putting that answer down there, did it? Alright. Another chariot. Yeah, let's see. see it? Read it up there, it says the chariot. Another chariot card. So I guess now somebody really wants to go home. Because this was in response to the, um, is the mental disorders real? But I don't, um, no, no. Even though somebody real, really was able to go home, that's not it. Okay, this woman in this booth is a small card, but you're going to have to work with me. Look at it. 
Okay, see this is a, a movie camera. Like when you're in the theater in the projecting booth and they're projecting the screen, the image onto the screen, but this woman is writing it, you know. So I'm getting the impression like that mental disorder or saying that you're really aggravated or you just can't handle it, that was um a disorder that was impressed upon this projected on top of this. Like if um like if somebody was on drugs and got like real, 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 real skinny and then you ask, Oh, what happened? They say, Oh, it's cancer, I had cancer but I beat it. So the physical thing is right. You really are looking at somebody who look all dried up and stuff, but you're labeling it wrong. You see what I'm saying? Like it wasn't labeled right. She was truly upset that day, but it wasn't because of no OCD. Okay? It was that was what was projected on top of the problem. That was the candy coating. Okay? All right. Now. We got some more questions. Right. Okay. Third question is, did Ryan hurt Gabby? That's a very direct question. We should have asked that one first. All right. When you get the answer to that one, I want to go back over to the Beauty of Horror deck. All right, Spirit. We are going past August. And we've gone past Salt Lake City. We're back in the van now. And it's just Ryan. Gabby's no longer in the van. She's no longer in his energy field. Can you tell me if Ryan hurt Gabby? Did Ryan hurt Gabby in a way that made it to where she couldn't return home? Did Ryan hurt Gabby in any way? Oops. All right. Let's see. What popped out is the sun card. In the sun... It's one of the um, best cards in the deck. It's right up there with the world in the, um, in the star. I don't like this. Um, the question was, did Gabby, did Ryan hurt Gabby? And they gave us a sun card, okay? Well, as you're looking at this sun card, you see that incision on her leg down there? like this that cut on her leg right there and then it's also a cut on this person's arm kind of right there like that this is a response into did Ryan hurt Gabby so if he did hurt her by this card I would say um he could have maybe drug her by her arm or drug her by one of her feet but he put his hands on her and it um it affected her feet and her hands some type of way. You never know what a person gonna do. So I'm gonna say, yeah, he did hurt her. And it involved her hands and her foot. Hmm. I wanna clarify that. That's a, that's all it is. That's about to get clarified. Alright. Now Spirit, I asked you. If Ryan hurt Gabby. Alright. Oh my goodness. They y'all be giving me goosebumps up in here. So what popped out is the two of wands. Looks familiar? It should. This is them towards the end of the trip. This is them at the beginning of the trip. See? Both it's them. See, they were all cool in the beginning. They had the shades. She had the shades on. It was, you know, everything was perfect. The end, the shades have come off. Okay, we need to look, focus on some stuff. But, I'm going to say not only did he hurt her on a leg or arm, but it was, it was him. Because this couple showing up is like a way of saying it was her other half or her consort or her mate or her companion. So, to answer the question, did Ryan hurt Gabby? The answer to that is a yes. Alright. And the last question is, is Gabby still in Utah? Because her very last post was August the 25th on social media. She was reported missing by her parents on September the 11th of 2021. But no one actually seen their eyes on Gabby since Utah. 
So the question is, is Gabby still in Utah? Let's see. And to get the answer to that, I'm wanting to go back to the um I wanna use I wanna use all the decks at once all the time. Alright, but if first I'm gonna look in the Wonderland and Oracle card. Shuffle them again. All right, spirit. Like I said, we have went past August. We have went past September. Everybody is in their places. What I want to know is, is Gabby still in Utah? Is Gabby still between the zip codes of 84101 and 84199, even though Ryan is no longer there? Is Gabby still in Utah right now? It's not in that one. Go back to this one. I'd be trying hard to use the decks that I want to use. They'd be like, no, let me make sure all these are flipped over right. I like the pictures in the other one, but these are some good pictures too. Alright, please just answer the question. Is Gabby still in Utah? Is she still between the zip codes of 841 and 84199? I wanted to know if Gabby Petito is still in Utah right now. Because Ryan came home without her. Did he... Right. I was about to say, did he purposely leave her there? We got two. Mm. Okay. The Page of Swords came out. And also the Ace of Pentacles. And I've never been to Utah, but I have been to Florida, and I have been to New York. And I can tell you right now, they don't have these mountainous areas. See in the background of this card, all these mountains and stuff. Like, those are actual mountains. That's not a tree. It's a mountain. And this card also has, like, um, furry, not furry, really, like a lot of leafy terrain like you know like kind of um foresty or not this wilderness like both of these cards to me have like a the wilderness national park vibe to me i mean what do you think these cards came out to response of is gabby still in utah i'm gonna put my money on yes because I've, they don't have mountains and valleys and peaks in florida or new york this is in my mind one of those national parks. All right, and we're gonna leave it right there. And what? Because you know, sometimes people are like it was after you said this after. So I'm gonna get the date right. Right now it is September the 16th, 5:40 Eastern time, and she has not been found, and he is not in jail. So we're gonna all find out together. Okay. So again, I am Cleopatra Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. Or you can subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.